situated in the west region of Sikkim, Tikpur is one of the remotest villages gradually moving towards development. The nearest town is Sombaria, where the villagers sell crops like potatoes, cardamom, carrots, etc. The main source of earning is agriculture. Besides this, some are engaged in poultry farming, dairy, vermiculture, silk rearing, which is paving way for coming generations. The education development is gradual. Most of the villagers are school dropouts where only few have excelled in this field. But the present society is promising as there are three schools in this area. Government Secondary School Sikpur is among them which was established in the year 1972. Morning assembly, a very important part of school curriculum, it helps to nurture and maintain a positive and healthy school environment that binds everyone together. We have been taking great initiative for improving the quality of morning assembly by including so many activities with the active participation of students and teachers. Our morning assembly starts with the peace prayer, includes singing of hymns, patriotic songs with musical instruments. Sharing information of latest happenings, inspiring thoughts, moral value based speeches by the teachers and students. Among these different activities, the most inspiring one is the inclusion of religious talk in the morning assembly with the belief that school is the only place where we can teach our students not only theoretically but practically the true meaning of secularism. With this notion, the teachers deliver religious talk in the morning assembly twice a week. The idea behind this is to develop religious tolerance, the feeling of respect for each other's faith and to cultivate a sense of unity among the students. Through all this initiative and in guidance of our headmaster, we hope our students will gather a lot of positive energy to do well and be good in their day-to-day -day life. being located in remote places where such facilities couldn't be met. The school had been running with limited teaching learning materials, but after the arrival of headmaster Sir G.M. Pradhan, the tremendous changes was made. A years back, it was difficult for the school to manage parents' teachers meet with the parents of 200 and 250 students. It was even difficult to conduct indoor activities. For many years, PTA was conducted in the assembly ground with limited benches. It was burdensome for students carrying the benches in and out of the classroom. Apart from it, staff room was simply with a table and few benches. But after his arrival in the school, staff room was provided with attached cupboards for individual teachers where the teachers feel safe to keep their things. A two-roomed art and craft room was constructed through the RMSA grants in the past but the roof of the building was leaking at several places. The hall was used as a storeroom for the broken damaged furniture. The hall now has been renovated and we own a mini auditorium where children practice yoga, learn music, read books and play indoor games. The hall also has a well-equipped, well-furnished science laboratory at present school functions and meetings are not a problem now the renovation of the hall was also done through community mobilization teachers and students of school uh, collected donations for this purpose 
The changes that influence the school a lot is replacing the blackboard with whiteboard. His effort in making the teaching learning process more technical is introducing a smart class for classes 6 to 10. The students have been found enjoying the classes being more enthusiastic. Oh, oh, the midday meal shed was poorly built where two, three members could hardly adjust. No place for the students to sit and have their meal. The roof was covered by plastics. Everything has been done by mobilizing the community members. This initiative has inculcated a sense of belongingness amongst the parents and children. People have faith and trust in the school. Uh, the school members were always boosted up with these innovative ideas and have been running smoothly till date. I came across Navin when he was in 5th standard. I have seen him physically weak and almost with no smile on his face that children usually have. He was diagnosed with an 8 mm hole in his heart when he was still a child. Being born to poor parents who lived on daily earning, it was impossible for him to be operated. This boy was on the verge of losing his life just because of poverty. The present headmaster, Sir D.M. Pradhan, came to his rescue, taking the initiative for Novin's operation. The school came in contact with people from every corner and even people outside Sikkim and India. Every individual from all walks of life, especially teachers and students from different parts of Sikkim, came forward, extending their generosity. The headmaster himself took Novin to Gantuk Hospital for the initial treatment and to Mission Hospital, Durgapur, Kolkata for heart surgery later. This boy is keeping fine now. Now, the school has become Novin's trust, promising to help many Novins who are economically fragile. My name is Navin Pradhan and I read in class 7. I had hole in my heart but respected it. Master teachers of this school helped me in my operation. I am thankful of them. Mo Momla Lipsa, yes, she can take Gram Ponchet Kasavapati, yes, the poor secondary school can in Tihamili, or Hilisama the Tipani Gram Ponchet Baragon upon a cam, Alisama Gori Raison, the Tapisai Prono Ponesa Hami Prondeson, the Audu in the Pony, yes, school car, Niranter Property can in Tihami, some Puna Gram Ponchet Bara, Pony Hami, Sai Prondeson, or yes, Gram Ponchet Ka, some Puna Public or Parapani, Prondeson, Pony Hami, Nyanu. In the past few years, we have brought about significant and visible transformations in the school system at Tikpur Secondary School. The generous Members of society, the hard-working, diligent members of staff and the students deserve all the praise for all these achievements. I have learned and understood that together we can. In the beginning, we prepared a school development plan involving the panchayats, SMC members, and the staff of the school and step by step we started implementing the plan and the result is with us. I am optimistic that we would be able to fulfill all the activities we had planned in the school development plan in the years to come. I take this opportunity to thank all those who have been very generous and helpful to the school at all times. <laughs>